Christians would turn their eyes from politics and world affairs and look to the heavens instead. Millions have traveled along a narrow corridor stretching from Mexico to Canada to see a total eclipse of the sun. CBN's Dale Hurd has a story. It's North America's biggest eclipse audience ever. Thanks to the densely populated path it will take across the U.S. and all the social media buzz surrounding it. We've been talking about coming here for this event since, what, three months before she was born? In the zone of totality, a four-hour trek stretching from Texas all the way to Maine and 115 miles wide, the darkness will last up to four and a half minutes. Temperatures will drop as much as 10 degrees. So many visitors have traveled to see the phenomenon roads could be clogged and some areas have declared a state of emergency because of all the visitors. But whatever you do, don't try to view the eclipse without the proper eye protection. Looking at the sun with the naked eye is incredibly dangerous. The sun's UV radiation is capable of destroying the soft tissue in the back of your eyeballs. I got the uh, certified safety eyewear. I got UV filters for my camera. Almost everyone in North America will be guaranteed at least a partial eclipse, weather permitting. Unfortunately, some areas could only see clouds. The best weather is expected in New England and Canada. We do have weather concerns, but I'm really hopeful that we're going to have a very good experience. It's going to be disappointing. Definitely, if it's cloudy. The timing and location of this particular eclipse has some reading biblical and prophetic significance. The fact that it goes over seven cities called Nineveh and one called Jonah makes you wonder, is this our Nineveh moment, America, a time to reflect on where we stand on a lot of issues? The next total solar eclipse in 2026 will only be seen over the Atlantic and in Spain. Alaska will have one in 2033, and the next chance for the lower 48 won't come for another 20 years. Dale Hurd, CBN News. of weather. Have you heard about this? Statue of Liberty in New York hit by a big lightning bolt on Wednesday. According to the photographer that took this photo, the photos were taken about 6 p.m. Eastern time yesterday from Liberty State Park in New Jersey. Powerful thunderstorm knocked down power to thousands in North New Jersey. Wind gusts reached up to 50 miles an hour during that storm. It's unclear if the Statue of Liberty sustained any major damage. 